Hey guys, welcome back to Keys to the Cosmos. This is part two of our ultimate starter travel setup. And as I mentioned in the first video, when we talked about the base, the tripod, the star tracker, this isn't just focusing on specific models to buy, um, brands to buy, but more so on where to spend your money. Maybe spend a little bit more on certain aspects of your setup that will give you better results, less frustration. The theme of this whole channel, astrophotography made simple. And that's what we want. Less frustration is better. So in part two here, we're going to talk about the camera and the telescope. Now, right away, you may think, well, here's where we're going to spend our money. Actually, no. These are definitely not the cheapest parts of the setup, and that's not what I'm referring to. But when it comes to the quality level, the expense level, and the range that you generally find out there, this is actually where I wouldn't spend that much money. And I'll try to explain why. Um, Telescopes are not like cell phones or TVs or every year they're coming out with something um, crazy new that you feel that you have to buy, that you have to have because it's going to make that big a difference. Telescopes really are fairly simple and although they do evolve over time and they improve and particularly on the astrophotography side, um, it's not like a telescope from last year is going to be outdated and the newest model is going to be that much better that you have to spend the money. So when it comes to the telescope itself, um, here's where I think you actually don't need to go crazy and buy the very best one, the most expensive one, uh, particularly for a kit like this. So this particular one is a Sharp Star 76 millimeter. It's got um, 300 and some odd focal length, millimeter focal length. So it's still considered quite wide field. But weight wise, I'd mentioned in the first video, that's um, kind of pushing for this star tracker which is rated at 11 pounds now that includes the camera as well and whatever else you have on top so um, this is about as big a telescope as you're going to want to go for a travel beginner setup like this however it does work beautifully this is a triplet which just means that it has three lenses for color correction um, they even make quadruplets now but what i want to make clear is that when it comes to the telescope you don't need to buy um, the most expensive ones I mentioned. You don't need to even buy a triplet, a quadruplet. Even if you can find, you know, a used doublet, um, which isn't quite as good for color correction, but you'll still be able to take very nice images with it. Um, so in this case, you know, I really don't think that you need to go crazy, especially for your first one. Um, as far as what to buy for a telescope, if you're definitely going to be focusing on imaging, I suggest something like this, a wide field refractor telescope. I won't get into all the details behind the difference of different kinds of telescopes and all that, but refractor, um, for generally speaking, produces the crispest images. So they may not be the best for viewing. So if you want to do a lot of viewing as well, this may not be the best telescope for you. It doesn't have a lot of a magnifying power. Um, so if you're trying to look at planets and stuff like that, it really does not work well at all. But for imaging, they produce nice, crisp, quality images. And that's what you want for us photography. Um, as I mentioned, it is a, um, a triplet. But if you can find a used doublet, I wouldn't get too hung up on that. It really is not going to make that big a difference, particularly for someone new to this hobby and may not have quite as discerning an eye. One thing I will mention though, you, if you, when you start looking at uh, telescopes, you'll notice that there are some that um, have the same focal length, seem to have the same measurements, this one's 76 millimeters, but they seem to be a lot cheaper. And that's likely because it's an achromatic uh, refractor telescope. This one is an apochromatic refractor telescope. And that is where I would say you do want to spend the money. Make sure you buy an apochromatic because that will make quite a difference in the quality of images. Achromatic are not as good for, for taking images and they are considerably cheaper. Some of them can only be a few hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars even. But here's where I would at least, at the very least, get an aprochromatic. Even if it's used, as I mentioned, even if it's just a doublet, don't worry too much about that. But you do want to get an aprochromatic. That will provide best results and still give you a telescope that you can use for many years and not feel that you have to replace not too far down the line. So that's the telescope I use in general, uh, probably for most things. It's perfect for, you know, Andromeda Galaxy, the Heart Nebula, Sol, um, 
you know, so many different ones. That's just like the perfect size where you can take an image, crop it a bit, and it looks perfect um, as an, a finished product. Now, when it comes to the camera, again, here's where I say don't spend a lot of money. Um, a lot of people have a digital camera already, perhaps uh, that they use for vacations or whatever it is. So I would say start with that. You know, this is a Canon 800D, which is the equivalent to a T7i, Rebel T7i, I believe. It's the exact same camera. And this is what's considered a budget camera. It's really nothing uh, special at all. It has an APS-C crop sensor. And um, there's really nothing fancy about this camera at all. I got this one used and um, it actually is astro modified. We'll talk about that in the next part of this series when we talk about upgrades and accessories. But again, that's not something that I would say is absolutely necessary. Um, uh, any, any DSLR will do the job. So at least start with that. And then you can perhaps decide to make that move to modify it or if you want to buy an even higher end camera. But this is, uh, what, I, like I said, a very, what you'd consider budget DSLR, maybe even entry. And um, even if you don't have one, you can pick one up used, um, usually on Kijiji or wherever, Facebook Marketplace, and it shouldn't cost you more than a couple hundred bucks. And at least you can get started with that. So it's attached to the telescope via an M48 thread adapter. And here's a picture of that. Those are inexpensive and you can pick those up uh, on Amazon or at any telescope place or photography uh, online store. So that's not a big deal, not too expensive. And yeah, that's my, that's my uh, telescope and camera kit. One thing I will mention, which um, I'll include this again more in the next series, the next uh, video I should say, there is a focal reducer in here um, and it's made by Sharpstar, made for this particular model. That's not essential especially if you're shooting smaller things that you know you're going to crop the image anyway. But that just very briefly helps to give sharper stars to the corner of the image. It tacks on a couple hundred bucks, but it's not necessary. So don't feel that you need to go out and get that right away. So yeah, so we've talked about the base, the tripod, the star tracker. Now we talked about the telescope. Uh, as mentioned, an apochromatic refractor, in my opinion, is best for astrophotography specifically. But you don't need to go crazy and spend a ton of money. Look for a used one if you can't afford a new one. Um, don't worry about it. It's a doublet or triplet. Um, just one that's in good shape and uh, that will provide nice crisp images. And a camera like this that will capture those images. And um, you know, you'll still be able to get nice pictures out of it without breaking the bank. And spending a ton of money before you know that you want to commit yourself to this hobby and go that next step. So here we go. That's... Part one and part two. Part three, as I mentioned, will be accessories and upgrades and we'll sort of round this whole series off. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.